The Second Love Commandment, Exodus 20, verses 4 through 6. Thou shalt not worship idols. The second love commandment is intrinsically linked to God's first love commandment, which instructed, have no other gods before me. Remember, the first love commandment is all about pride or being your own God when disobeyed. Well, this commandment, when disobeyed, explains how a person fuels that pride. Thus, the first and second love commandments go hand in hand. If either of them is disobeyed, they are both being disobeyed. Or if either of them is kept, they are both being kept. Let's investigate. The best way to begin understanding this commandment is again, just like the first commandment, to scrutinize what happened to Lucifer in the Garden of Eden. Listen to Ezekiel write about him. Every precious stone was thy covering, the sardius, topaz, Diamond, beryl, onyx, jasper, sapphire, emerald, carbuncle, and gold from the day that thou was created. And by the multitude of thy merchandise, they have filled the midst of thee with violence, and thou hast sinned. Thine heart was lifted up, meaning prideful, because of thy beauty, and thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by reason of thy brightness. Ezekiel 28, verses 13 through 17. Do you see it? Lucifer was prideful over physical things. His mind, or his better judgment, was corrupted by the fact that he placed value in materialism. And then he wanted control over more of it, for that fed his ego. He wanted to be God, remember? How foolish! So in his prideful, idolatrous state, more sin or loveless dominoes began to fall, and he sinned further by lying to Eve and murdering the souls of mankind, which is disobeying the ninth and the sixth love commandments, to become the God of this world. Listen closely to me. An inordinate love for the physical world is what disobedience to God's second love commandment or idolatry, is all about. Amazingly, a careful look at Satan's discussion with Eve and her thought process in the Garden of Eden right before she sinned even further confirms everything I am telling you about how disobedience to God's first two love commandments, or pride and idolatry in the heart, are the first steps towards all kinds of sin or loveless deeds. Listen to how Lucifer enticed her. God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, ye shall be as gods. Genesis 3, verse 5. Do you see it? Lucifer stroked her pride first. Then listen to Eve's thought process after Satan's words. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired, she took of the fruit thereof and did eat. Genesis 3, verse 6. Do you see the lust for seeable physical things? Yes, pride and idolatry, or disobedience to God's first two love commandments, were the factors that led Eve to sin, just like Lucifer. Now, once Adam and Eve sinned by eating the forbidden fruit from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, they instantly knew or became aware of God's ten love commandments in their heart. And the Lord God said, Behold, man is become as one of us, to know good and evil. Genesis 3, verse 22. In other words, mankind now faced the daily choice of either obeying God's Ten Love Commandments, doing good, or disobeying them, doing evil, during their lifetime on earth. And sadly, it didn't take long for mankind to start walking the path of evil by becoming prideful or self-centered and worshiping the materialistic universe. 
Listen to the Apostle Paul explain what happened in mankind's hearts right from the very beginning. Because that when they knew God, they glorified Him not as God, neither were they thankful. But they became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. And they changed the glory of the incorruptible God into an image made like unto corruptible man, and to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things, who changed the truth of God, which is love, into a lie. And rather they worshipped and served the created things more than the Creator. Romans 1, verses 21 through 25. Wow, do you see it? Instead of glorifying the Creator God, who is love, by following the path of good, mankind quickly became prideful, idolizing the materialistic universe, which led them down the path of evil, doing all kinds of sin or loveless deeds towards one another. Listen carefully. There are only two things that make up everything in the universe, spirit or dirt. God is spirit and atoms are dirt. Therefore, these are the only two things you have a choice to worship or to love in your life. Jesus said it like this, No servant can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God, spirit, and mammon, or dirt. Luke 16, verse 13. Did you get that? Jesus said it is impossible to serve or worship both spirit and dirt, simultaneously. This is what God's second love commandment is about. You will either love God, the invisible spirit inside of every person on earth, while simultaneously hating dirt, the seeable materialistic world, or you will hate God, the invisible spirit inside of every person on earth, while simultaneously loving dirt, the seeable materialistic world. That's incredible. So how does money fit into all of this? Money is the medium or the exchange that mankind invented to be able to acquire dirt or atoms legally. But take note, money can only buy materialistic things. It cannot buy spirit. Therefore, greed for money is really just greed for dirt. Do you understand? And I've already told you that pride, fueled by a greed for dirt, or a greed for the money that buys it, is how the first two love commandments are disobeyed, which then quickly begins knocking over the remaining sin dominoes in a person's life, leading them into all kinds of sin or disobedience to God's other eight love commandments. This is why the Apostle Paul wrote, for the love of money, meaning the love of dirt, is the root of all evil. 1 Timothy 6, verse 10. So here's how it works. A self-seeking, prideful person longs to obtain materialistic things or money because they know other people can see the dirt possessions they acquire. Land, houses, vehicles, clothing, furniture, electronics, etc. And this strokes their ego. It makes them feel powerful. It makes them feel successful. It makes them feel like they are better and smarter than their fellow man. This then in turn makes them even more prideful and thus continues an endless vicious cycle of sin or loveless thoughts, words, and deeds done in their life against their fellow man's spirit, which is actually doing it to God, for he is spirit. Coveting, lying, stealing, murdering, cheating, hating, blaspheming, envying, etc. This is the broad path of pride most people follow that leads their selfish, loveless souls to hell. 
But here's the sad, cold, hard truth. Dirt or money is actually worthless. Why? Because it cannot be obtained or held on to for eternity. In other words, dirt possessions are only a temporary thing, for we all must die sometime. So why would a person want to spend their lifetime on earth chasing after worthless dirt, money, and possessions, doing all kinds of sin or loveless deeds towards their fellow man, only to lose their soul for all eternity in the end? Pride, folks. Pride. Don't you see how foolish it is? And make no mistake about it, you cannot buy your way into heaven. You cannot say to God on Judgment Day, Well, look, Lord, see that big empire of dirt I amassed while I lived on earth? Can I trade that in for eternal life? That's not how it works, folks. This is why Jesus said, For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world, meaning the materialistic world, and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Mark 8, verses 36 through 37. Listen, the only thing God will honor while reviewing your life on Judgment Day is the love you showed him and your fellow man during your lifetime on earth. And how do you do that? By keeping the Ten Love Commandments. And that begins with you humbling yourself, killing your pride, and uprooting the love of dirt or the money that buys it out of your heart. Only then will you be free to love others unselfishly. Meaning only then will you be free to obey the Ten Love Commandments. This is why Jesus taught, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Luke 9, verse 23. Do you see? Denying yourself means to humble yourself by no longer living for the materialistic world. This is the first step towards God, or love which will lead a soul down the narrow path of love towards eternal life. Learning these things about God's second love commandment, you should now understand why God admonished the following things in His Word. Labor not to be rich, meaning materialistically wealthy. Cease from thine own wisdom. Proverbs 23, verse 4. And Paul wrote, you can be sure of this. The kingdom of Christ and of God will never belong to anyone who is impure or greedy. For a greedy person is really an idol worshiper. He loves and worships the good things of this life more than God. And don't be fooled by those who try to excuse these sins for the terrible wrath of God is upon all those who do them. Don't even associate with such people. Ephesians 5, verses 5 through 7. And this one. Do you want to be truly rich? You already are, if you are happy and good. After all, we didn't bring any money with us when we came into the world and we can't carry away a single penny when we die. So we should be well satisfied without money if we have enough food and clothing. But people who long to be rich soon begin to do all kinds of wrong things, meaning disobedience to the Ten Love Commandments, to get that money. Things that hurt them and make them evil-minded and finally send them to hell itself. For the love of money, or dirt, is the first step towards all kinds of sin. 1 Timothy 6, verses 6 through 10. Visit 10lovecommandments.com to get your copy of the beautiful 10 Love Commandments poster. This poster is a biblical masterpiece and a must-have for every household and church.